guys, I'm about to take a last minute flight to somewhere I've been dreaming of going for the past nine years. I don't even know if I'm gonna get in. I'll kind of fill you guys in after I have to pack. It is currently Monday. This is so crazy to me. So, so crazy and such a dream. If, if everything goes as planned, I still can't believe this. Let's go ahead and go to Las Vegas. SEMA, the biggest car event in the world. A trade show for businesses to showcase their latest products, innovations, and my favorite part, the best car builds in the planet. Ever since Sung's 240 Fugu C build back in 2015, exactly eight years ago, it has been a dream of mine to attend the SEMA show and not only attend, but one day even showcase one of my builds to the world. Now, the main problem I had is you can't just walk right in. You need to either have a business in the automotive world or work for a business. They also have media passes, but it is so complicated to get one. This was until last minute Jack from Jack Builds It reached out to me and told me he might be able to get a pass for me. And well, here I am in Las Vegas, SEMA 2023. After so long, my dream has come true. We have made it officially to SEMA 2023. This is literally insane and this is what I mean about SEMA. It could be a Jeep for example, and look at the attention to detail in something like this. I don't, honestly, this paint job is probably like 20 to 30,000 from the ground up all the way to the motor. This is insane. Again, like a SEMA is something else. Insane how many years I've dreamed of coming to this Toyo Tires Thread Pass. All the insane builds usually are in this spot. Let's see what we can find. This car really blew me away. This is insane. The quality, the paint, just everything overall in the Meguiar's booth. It's just crazy. Every single car is like this, where every single car I see will win best of show in any of the car shows that we go to, like Tuner Evo, Wegfest, any car show, you name it. Like these cars will win best of show, like hands down. And the crazy part is that it's every single one of them that is built to perfection, which I just, honestly, I take a look at them, I enjoy them and I get really inspired. And hopefully through this video, you guys could get inspired as well because this is next level stuff, to be honest. It's crazy how many years, hopefully you guys can hear me. I've been wanting to see Archie's two door Evo and you guys heard that correctly, two door Evo. This is a thing of beauty, Archie. Honestly, I am so glad to finally see your car after so many years of us speaking and here I am, insane. I cannot believe how wide it actually is, but this thing literally looks like a two-door Evo, which is gonna be a great inspiration 
for my coming soon two-door Evo. So this is a build that I've been dying to see like crazy. This is a complete carbon fiber R32 GTR. I remember still the black one from Active 4488. And this thing is a work of art. And I know I keep saying it and everything, but every single build here would be best of show in any car show whatsoever. This car is an inspiration to me. And I mean it when I say that, like this car is just everything. And I hope you guys can see this through cameras, through my videos, but man, from underneath the undercarriage, the wheels, the engine bay, the car, the wide body, complete, again, everything, hopefully you guys can see is carbon fiber, which is insane, man. This is an inspiration like crazy. Huge thank you to this guy because he's the reason I'm here in SEMA and he made this dream become awesome. a reality. I appreciate you, brother. bro. You already know that. When you told me it was a dream, I remember back when I wanted to come here and it was a dream for me and I thought, you know what, dude, like, I gotta make this happen. So I, really, I, I reached out to a bunch of people and then I, we had extra tickets and then it came down to the wire and it was like, let me just get you a ticket in your name. Yeah. So I called some guys from h and so thanks to them. Yeah. Dude, hooked it up. I really appreciate him. But here we have his beautiful Evo 8 build that was crashed and destroyed. And then in a couple of, how, how much time have you had it for? Like, I've had it for almost a year. But I worked on it. I working on it a little later. So I think I, I started the work in around, I wanna say March, maybe May. And, uh, so how many months like this car was destroyed i'll put a clip here of how he got the car yeah and then believe it or not it's at sema here it's still not running but he, you did everything so what yeah. talk 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 to us about the build what you did to it and so total time like seven months right so stripped it down to the bare chassis found a bunch of problems we found rust on the quarters found rust on the rear frame rails replaced both rear frame rails the cross member in the back I did a lot of repairs here. So I put a new core support in this. Uh, yes. This is all crushed and damaged. It had a lot of little rust spots and everything that everywhere. I replaced the upper rail. I repaired the apron. Basically everything you yeah. can get your hands on. I think we did everything on this car. The only thing that is older on this car is actually the intercooler. So the yeah, intercooler is the only thing. Yeah, that. that's pretty much the only thing. Because it had a really nice ETS intercooler. So I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to keep one thing that is on the car from before. I'll keep that. But everything else has been gone through. The engine is fully built. Yeah. We put uh, rods, pistons, we did cams, springs, seals, uh, every single uh, bearing is in this has been replaced. Uh, it's totally the whole, fresh. And the whole entire motor, shout out to JD Custom, is blinged out thanks to Jonathan. Yes. A lot of the stuff here looks amazing yes. and you guys know the titanium stuff always catches people's this, attention. This is something they did too. Like I asked them, I said, can you do a fade? From a silver to gold. It looks yes. really nice. And I'm honestly not a huge fan of like the burnt blue and all of that stuff, yeah. but this looks kind of like a little bit extra than sink plating, which I actually really like. And yes. it gives it that final touch yes. kind of like it makes it look kind of clean and just basically brand new. This whole thing. OEM plus. Exa ex like you like. Exactly. So OEM I wanted plus. to say something to you though. Your build actually inspired me. So I watched him do the, the, the red one and I was like, the detail that he went into on that made me think, man, if this guy restored an Evo that was in a great condition like that, there's no way I can't put that much attention. So, dude, dude, thank you so much for doing that means That means the world to me, honestly. Like, you know, a lot of work in the garage yeah. just by myself. And believe it or not, so what I admire most of this kind of build is that you tend to do a lot of the stuff yourself. Yes. And yes. you do have a great team and they, they have an amazing establishment. But overall, you put your touch, your own hands in the build and you decide what you wanted to do with it. This whole car, I'll, I'll put clips, I try to record underneath, 
everything is done over, like every little part, exactly how I love building the Evos. And yes. even the interior, can you speak a little bit about the interior so, and what was done? Cause this is man. gonna come, this is a, yeah. dude, this, so this is like, <laughs> this makes me go crazy. This is insane on how clean, this is OCD spec, crisp spec, For like sure, it's yes. so amazing. Here, when I did this, right, my original thought was I wanna have, I wanna take away the, the cheap plastic look. And I want it to yes. be something that is like where, and when you look inside this car, it doesn't look like a, a two, the early 2000s Japanese car. And the guys over at E3 Customs, specifically Matt, Matt took this on his uh, side, like he did this at his garage at home. Wow. And, uh, he put all this in here. I mean, so we have Lamborghinis. Lamborghini. can see this, yeah. but this is crazy. So he did this all by hand. So this is a uh, French seam all by hand. Leather is Lamborghini leather. The uh, cuts here on this the inside. Alcantara too, or what? yeah, this Alcantara this is here. insane, man. And then I think it's uh, I think this Audi Alcantara. And wow. And this this is um, a RS Q3 uh, insert on a car that they only sold less than a hundred of. So this is really rare fabric that he actually bought from. Uh, I think he got it from the Netherlands. That's um, insane. Does it. There's still a lot of stuff I gotta do. Like, this is the stuff that I mean when I say like little details and attention to detail that a lot of people, they'll see the build overall and they'll be like, wow, that's a clean Evo. Yeah. But little things like this, again, is what takes the build to the next level yes. always. And like, just imagine getting into just, I hadn't seen it. Yeah, I hadn't seen it. Like, it's insane. And it smells so good in so here. Fresh. Yeah, it smells like so it's brand better. new, which is. We deleted the grab handles. So oh, that you, did the, you did is the headliner not, too. I didn't even, you see, this is what I mean. I didn't even realize this. So they deleted the little grab thingies. What do you call them? Uh, like the grab handle. Yeah, the grab handle, I guess you could say. And they black Alcantara on the top too, which yep. is, I'm assuming the same. Same Alcantara, yeah. This is just really nice. Even the seats that, you know, like all of these are always messed up and everything. They look right. Overall, man, this yeah. is so great. Even the center console, it's really clean. And what I like is that it's not like a complete overkill. Do you mind if I open the door? Go, 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 dude. Even the back interior. Oh, I can't wait to do my interior and make it really, really nice. You guys know I'm going to probably go with all black or something like that. But exactly like this, maybe like gray stitching or something like that. Just to match like the wheels. But overall, man, this is a work of art and it's Thank still not you, done that's the crazy part is that this yeah. thing still needs to get dynoed it yes. still needs to just like the final details but once it's finished i'll make sure to go to orlando and actually record a full car builds episode where you guys can see all the details what's done to the engine underneath we'll hopefully be able to put it on a list yeah. so people because because i think the main part i like about this car is that once you look at it underneath it looks insane <laughs> like it's every every part of it is basically gone over that's the ocd spec how much OCD can you get in one frame? Tommy's here too. OCD kings in we the do. building. I'm literally. almost as tall. Look at that. Nah, you're yeah, everybody the same height. Yeah, to everybody's be honest. always so much shorter. Than but me. it's you know, been great. So meet people in this short. Yeah, right. Everybody that meets me, they're like, "Oh, you're a little bit taller than expected." So we're going over to McGuire's this week and convince them to bring a lot of the professional stuff back. I have to show you guys this because yeah. this kind of surprised me. If you guys take a look, the controls for the Hall Tech ECU are on the window visor keeping it super clean if you guys think about it there's basically no buttons in the dash or anything like that it's just above where the window visor is that's so so crazy again little details like this they just matter overall like you know when you guys tell me like oh you're crazy ocd or whatever like this is the level of detail we should all pursue in anything we do in life and i mean it when i say that